In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform an actuator conversion for the Series 746 HP knife gate valve. Most Bray valve models can be changed from manual actuation to pneumatic actuation with Bray pneumatic actuators in the field without additional parts. The tools required for this demonstration are as follows. A ruler, a feeler gauge, calipers, socket wrenches, a socket screwdriver, and crescent wrenches. Sizes will vary depending on the size of the valve. Use all PPE required for the procedure and job site. Warning! Verify that the line is depressurized before installing, removing, or repairing a valve or operator. Do not pressurize the line without an operator on the valve. Remove the handwheel actuator assembly. Relieve the line pressure and close the valve. Flush the line if necessary. Disconnect the stem from the gate by removing the clevis bolt and nut. Loosen the hose clip. Remove the hand wheel assembly fasteners in the superstructure. Remove the hand wheel assembly, the stem, and the bellows, hose clip, and bellows flange. Finally, remove the clevis from the gate. Install the pneumatic actuator assembly. Remove the clevis and bellows assembly from the piston rod attached to the actuator assembly. Place the actuator on the superstructure and fasten loosely using the bellows flange. Loosen the superstructure tower attached to the body. Give air supply to the actuator and extend the piston rod towards the closing position. Secure the bellows to the stem using the hose clip. Attach the clevis to the actuator piston rod and mark the clevis position using table 10 and adjust accordingly. Afterwards, adjust the clevis by half rotation, 180 degrees, counterclockwise to provide additional thrust or load on the PU seating surface. Apply the air slightly to the actuator to lower the piston rod and fasten the gate. Fasten the clevis bolts and nuts and tighten the lock nut. Stroke Adjustment In the closed position, adjust and ensure the gate positions from the top of the body according to Table 10. In the open position, the adjusting set screw, or stroke bolt, in the cylinder acts as the cylinder stroke adjustment. Adjust this adjusting screw, or stroke bolt, to set the gate open position. Ensure the whole assembly is aligned correctly according to Table 10.
give air supply to the actuator assembly and ensure smooth operation of the valve. Verify the seating of the gate using a 0.002 inch or 0.05 millimeters feeler gauge at the bottom. The feeler gauge shall not enter at any point. Tighten the lock nut. Tighten the hose clip to keep the bellows fastened to the piston rod. Fully tighten the actuator mounting bolts. Fully tighten the superstructure bolts. Finally, fully tighten the clevis bolts. The valve is now ready to be put back into service. Visit Bray.com for marketing and technical support documents. Should you need further support, please reach out to your Bray contact for assistance.